exciting because we are finally going to be changing out this automatic cluster on the Civic today. Now it's actually pretty simple for the most part for these cars because since they're older they don't have a lot of technology with them. It's just a regular analog cluster by Moment Faces. Uh, this is no sponsor by any chance but at Moment you want to hit me up let me know. Converting the cluster to a SIR cluster conversion. Now if you guys don't know already SIR only came out of the states so like Canada, uh, Japan, the Philippines, Malaysia, all that stuff. He makes custom clusters and basically what happened is I wanted instead of kilometers, I wanted miles per hour. So he was able to convert the miles per hour instead of kilometers. Originally, I think the cluster stops at 8K red line, drop it off all the way to nine, just to give it a little bit more pizzazz, you know what I'm saying? I do have to drill holes into the my original cluster so that way I can wire this up because these faces are LED. They don't use any bulbs or anything like that. And yeah, and the main most important thing is the, the automatic selection, which gear you put in. So that finally we'll be deleting that and just cleaning it up a little bit. Oh. All right, so the cluster is finally out and you can see the kind of more difference and then a little bit more lighting. And just like that, we have two faces. No more Prindle on there. Look at that, it looks so much better now. It's nice white, black, and red, just like the SI clusters or the SIR clusters are. The holes drilled in, so now we just need a wire. And voila, we got the cover on and everything. Look at that. Oh my God, I am so excited to put this on. I am ready because I've been looking at that automatic one for a pretty long time, so I'm pretty excited to see this on the car. Gauges are finally in. It is a little bit dark outside, but let me show you guys how it looks. This is off and this is on. Check that out. Nice LED. All right guys, so it's the next day and check this out. I finally got everything in. Shout out to my boy Blueberry for helping me. Um, he helped me a lot with this. Uh, we're trying to figure it out and we're still trying to figure it out. But basically what's going on, as you can see, the cluster is all in, right? And when we turn it on, the LEDs work. Basically, it'll be on for about, I would say 10 minutes or so and then it'll completely dim out it'll shut off but then when I turn off the lights turn it back on and then it works for another 10 minutes or so I think there has to be something to do with the inverter or possibly I need to get a relay for it so that way it could keep the lights constantly going I think it's just losing power somewhere maybe we wired it wrong but I'm not sure totally but other than that the car looks 10 times better as you can see with the cluster in before it was like bluish style to the gauges and obviously the prindle or the automatic stuff is gone it's finally disappeared and now it looks just a lot cleaner of, of course when i turn it on it looks 10 times better of course i still want to get as you can see right here it's still yellow right here and here i want to try to get some little tiny leds for it so that way it can brighten up so that way it's all led and i really like it because honestly i've been looking at that blue uh, automatic gauge for a while so I definitely want to get rid of it especially because this car is a manual I believe this hatch was originally an automatic and then someone decided to swap this thing and so they already pre-swapped it and that's how it is a manual right now so I think that's why there was an automatic cluster already in this car because someone already swapped it let me know what you guys think of the new cluster and yeah I will see you guys next time in the next one uh -huh.